Yo, what's up? So, um, today we'll be making um, a Sakodia type beat. Um, we'll be making the Afro type, you know, the, the recent one, Fahukumi or uh, Bumper or something like that. So, we'll be making that type and it might be similar to, um, you know, uh, these guys. Um, um, Zlatan's type of beats in uh, some way. So let's just, let's just start with it. So I've loaded all these instruments and the drums and the percussion and all those stuff. So I'll, as I do, I'll go to I'll go I'll go and look for the key in which I want to make the beat in. Helper scale highlighting. It's already in minor scale. So let me let me choose F sharp minor. So let me start with the chord progression. So I like that chord progression. So let me just mute the chord progression and go. Um, I'll be I'll be working with the drums. Let me normally I, I, with Afro beats I start with the drums first. So let me just start with the drums. Then I'll uh, I'll mute the uh, E piano. So let me turn down the um, the the tempo. So it's now on one two four. So let me bring in the kick. Let me increase the tempo. So I'm done with the drums. I'm done with the drums. Now I'll unmute the E piano. So let me extend it to the next part. So let's see how it sounds with the drums. Okay, I don't like the second part of the the E piano.
sign, so I'll just chuck this side of the of the um, melody and I'll change the maybe the chord. So let me uh, let me let me get the distance the plug. This plug is a it's a stock plug and every instrument I'm using is a is a stock um, instrument so it, it wouldn't sound way good. it wouldn't sound nice like the one you use uh, other third party plugins. So what I'll do with this plug is I'll put hardcore on it. Let me see how it sounds. Maybe spice it up a little bit. This one sounds way better, so let me just keep it this way. Keep it in the in the in the higher octave then to to detect when uh, whether it is in key with the other instrument then I'll bring it down. Okay, so the sounding okay. Let me send it back to let me send it to the next the other side. Um. So this 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 bell I'll I'll do something else with it. So what I will do is I'll 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 go for the arpeggiator. Yeah. I'll be playing with it and see how it sounds. So let me put um, 
gross beat on it and I'll half step it. It's too fast. So let me let's see how it sounds. So I'll copy this E piano and paste it on the pad. So let me send this pattern to this side then I'll time stretch it. So because of the pad, the, the, the distance will be cracking a lot so I'll, I'll, move, I'll mute the pad and play it. Let me see how it sounds. So I didn't time stretch the shaker loop well, so I've redone it. So let's let, let's just listen to how it's going to sound. So with the bell, I'll put another groove beat on it and I'll reverse it. Let me see if it sounds okay. It, that's how to make a circuit year afro type slash azonto slash whatever you want to call it so that's how you, you go about making it it's very simple and so i'll be giving out this uh, the flp for this project for free so you just check the download link in the description so and download it so you have to sign up to my website before getting the download asset so if you are new here please subscribe Drop a comment, positive comments only, and share with your friends, your families, and other producers. Don't be chiseled. Just share it with your friends or other producers who you think might need help making this kind of beats. So, see you next time. Bye.